That's like crippled, that's like crippled telepathy. Oh, it fucking is, man. Especially with us, Jay. Sam, I'm Sam didn't know what to do the other day. This guy is... She's sparko. She's probably loving it. She's just so happy. <laughs> Sophie, how are you today? I'm not too bad, actually. I was a bit sore, but I'm not too bad, because I've got a puzzle cut. So, I'm very good. Plus, that's all they got. What looks like an amazing load of cheese just for me, so in my defense, oh, the monkey's like, hello, shall I pose? So, the pussycat's called monkey. monkey. Yeah, this little one's called monkey, and she's she's got a proper attitude problem, which is why I think she's amazing. Mm -hmm. We're you... like kindred spirits, darling. <laughs> so, we've been into town. <laughs> yeah, we went to the markets. And we've got... We, well, we got, we got lots of nice things. But oh, we, we got, got a nice a lovely brie. bit of brie that we put in the oven. Stinky brie. With some no, fresh no, 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 bread no, no. and some pickle. Which makes us a lovely lunch. Mm -hmm. And I also got pretty flowers from the flower man. And, yeah, I've got pretty uh, flowers. And a nice cup of, and a nice bit of chat to uh, all the market guys. Yeah, although it, it's actually, uh, it's actually, actually grim out there, pouring yeah. it down outside, so it's not Do you that know what? Hot. It did actually make my day that the guys at the market they they were actually like, oh, you're on your feet. I was like, yeah, I'm on my feet today. Yeah, because you've been on your sticks today, so. Uh -huh. So it's quite nice that it's quite nice that they notice. It sounds stupid, but and we've come round nice. to visit Shah. Hi. Well, we got they brought me lunch of lovely cheese and lovely bread and milk, so that and you milk. can make tea. So I can make tea. The most important. And we've got a, a house full of. Uh, done. That's done, boy. A house full of fat cats. My baby. Yeah. They're not all fat. I mean, them. some of them are, but they're not all fat. Um, I don't know if Finn's gone back into his box or not. No. Well, oh yeah, no, he might. I think he's. Yeah, like, there's a pussy cat in the box. Yeah, that's yep. good. Let's get in a box. And you've got your sewing room. I'm getting there. It's getting there. It's getting all settled. And my mum's going to be giving me a sewing machine too. Oh, so, we, so can... we have two sewing machines. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. can really go at it and make lots and lots of And stuff. my mum's going to give me one of her old DSLR cameras. Ooh. Yeah, so we can use for vlogging. Mm -hmm. And for a bit of pain relief, um, we've been buying CBD. Yeah. So... We're using the CBD, grinding it up, and uh, using it in cooking and smoking it for pain relief. Or... Yeah, it, which is really helping. Well, the thing is, the drops are the drops are okay, but sometimes it's so. At the moment, I've I've got my 250 milligram drops, and I'm using them, but because I'm also very sore, I'm finding the CBD is better as a breakthrough pain relief rather than my OxyNorm because my OxyNorm has a lot of problems that go with it. So my OxyNorm makes me very shaky and my oxynorm can make me a bit confused and yeah so the oxynorm is not the way forward no um, well it's really strong medication yeah and unfortunately thc is banned in the uk so it's a shame really because i when i went over to amsterdam i was when i used to see my granddad he, he was in utrecht when he was in our hostel but i can honestly say that while i was there i was able to walk around on two crutches and able to do all of that because of the pain relief difference yeah it does make a massive difference you only got to look at uh, the states where it's legal in the states and what oh. people are saying about that for pain relief oh yeah we get the whole thing about it being a recreational drug um, that does need controlling, but when you look at the therapeutic effects... Oh my god, the therapeutic effects are... When yeah. you compare the difference between, say, something like THC and cannabis, and then you think about my other medications, so I'm on pregabalin, I'm on oxynorm, I'm on oxycontin, and I'm on diazepam, and I'm on a lot of other bloody meds, but those are the probably four key ones where people are always worried because you might become addicted to them. Um, you have withdrawal symptoms and you have negative side effects. I've never honestly had... The only negative side effect I've had from smoking is Eating. hungry. Yeah, I was going to say, hungry give me some sleeping. Mars bars. Yeah. But apart from that, I don't think I've ever had a negative side effect. Whereas, unfortunately, I don't know whether I'm just one of those lucky girls, but I always seem to get like the really obscure fucking yellow label shit. <laughs> like when I took Tramadol, I, beca but but I became so allergic to it that they actually had to do a yellow card because I was, my son's sensitivity was like a really rare side effect. Wow. He was like, oh, well, that's like one in 15,000. I'm like, great. Yeah, cheers. Of course, it would happen, wouldn't it? Yeah. It was a fucking win on the lottery, but God, I can yeah, win on that. Yeah, win on that. <laughs> yeah. I find that... I'm on Oxy, I'm on double the dose that fees on in the evening and as well as I am addicted more. to it. So if my, for whatever reason, my script messes up like it has on mm. numerous occasions, I go into withdrawal because I don't have it. Mm. Not so, only that, but it causes more pain as well as... Yeah, it does. And then it takes twice as long for that 
you got to catch up for it to catch mm. up once you finally got it again so mm. you know i wish weed was legalized in this country but it isn't so i'm having to make do with cbd at the moment i, yeah. I mean we're lucky lucky in a way that salisbury's just got a head shop that's opened mm -hmm. and he's selling a variety of cbd products yeah. But I'll better, he's got some flour. Mm -hmm. So you have a choice of flowers. Um, yeah, I've got, this one's called Bruce Banner. So. And then this one is Gorilla Glue. So as you can see, it comes in a, it comes in a little pack. Um, you can see the, uh, if I get the focus right, Bruce Banner, 17.5% uh, CBD. And in the UK, you can only have, well, you're not allowed THC, but you always end up with a little bit. So you've got 0 0.1, which is, which is legal. So the flowers look just like, just like, just like you'd expect from street weed. To be yeah, 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 it, it smells exactly. the same. It looks the same, it smells the same, and tastes the same. Really. Yeah. But the different, you can tell the difference. You, you can honestly tell the difference. And one thing that I've noticed as well is that because of our medications, it's almost with painkillers. You almost have to take them before you need them. Yeah, you because do. Because if you don't, they yeah. don't kick in properly. But the and you're playing catch up. If but you the problem with taking it is, is that you if. You, once you've started that routine, you can never, you, you can't manage your you pain can't properly because, it. yeah. So, and, it, and it's not at the time when you want. Smoking, no. smoking a joint when you're feeling sore is the way forward. Well, it? yeah, no well, let's put it this way. So in the morning, in the morning, I have to try and eat some food before I can take my meds, but I can't move because I'm in pain. So I've got, uh, I've got a choice really. I can either cause myself a lot of pain to go downstairs and get some food, or I can take my meds on an empty stomach, but that has a massive dramatic effect. Yeah, on I me. won't let you take it on an empty stomach. No, because it makes the, it, the, oh, it, 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 it takes me out. takes you out. Your, your brain becomes completely foggy and you get angry. Yeah, because so, I'm, 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 I'm flustered. Get angry I'm flustered and defensive. And angry. Yeah. It's yeah. like a prime example was the other night when mm. Nick came home and he wasn't feeling very yeah. well, and you were hanging. Yeah. And, and then when I, Sam, when I asked Sam to move and he didn't, oh like, my goodness, it just errored, right? Just, my brain. Errored. I could see it happening. I could see it. That's why I was like, right, this is what's going to happen, and this is how it's going to happen because. Your voice was getting more and more posh. You get more <laughs> angry and more wound up, yeah. and you're going, you're going from normal me, right? And it's like, Sam, would you just leave my room? Because I fucking asked you to, and it was just like, hmm. Yeah. Little Haley's face, you didn't quite know what to do. I know, right? And I'm just like, it's all right. right. We're just. So, sad stuff off! Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, I had I had done the most specialist thing you could possibly do there. So I made a cup of tea for everybody, and then I opened the fridge and managed to spill boiling water on myself. So I had to take my pajama bottoms off pretty quick because I've already burnt a hole in my leg once doing Yeah, that. so I was down trying to rip off. her trousers off, <laughs> trying to get yeah. Sam out. Yeah, you're trying room. to strip me down while I'm like, Sam, go away. And he's like, I'm not looking. I'm like, get out my room. I don't care if you're not looking. I don't feel comfortable. And Haley's just right. there like, hmm. She didn't know what to do, so then I ran straight to the bathroom. Well, I, I used the term run loosely. Oh, I got to the bathroom, got the cold shower on, yeah. so that when B got into the bathroom, it was ready. So all I had to do was like swig her legs over the bath and hose so her funny. down. Exactly, that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> so yeah. But to be fair, you did save me because I only got slight blistering, whereas otherwise I'd have. You would have completely and utterly. Well, I've already burnt a hole in my leg. Yeah, it's the size of like really, a two p. We don't. And want that, that took eight months to recover. Yeah, that that <laughs> wasn't happening. Well, I'm really bad at healing. So yeah, no, no. Once I, I hurt myself, it, it can take months to heal, even if I'm not. Even if it's something as simple as like um, a sprained. Well, yeah. my knee. So my knee, for example. Yeah. I'm starting to find it's it's really hurting me now. Well, it will. I'm walking and I'm trying to build it up. Mm -hmm. So, baby steps. I'm getting there. You'll get ready. there. But listen, compared to how you were three weeks ago when you did it, mm. compared to now, yeah, it's a whole part. Yeah. Because I've you got to remember where I've come, not where I've uh -huh. where I'm Well, going. you have to tell me that all the time. <laughs> you have to remind me that of all the all the time. But you don't be a hypocrite. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you that one. Say I'll no give you that one. I'll more. give you a squeeze on right. that. Well, you know, I, I, I get quite a lot of them. Yeah, you uh, do I still love you too, babe. Because it's my special. Okay. It's my special grip <laughs> Why have you got a poo bag? So we're going to uh, finish enjoying our lunch. So uh, keep watching our channel for some new videos and please like and subscribe. Have a good day. Sophie, what are you up to? I am dredging, dredging my box because I am incredibly sore as is shot and we, we don't have any CBD to smoke and I'm incredibly sore and I've already had my OxyNorm. In fact, I've taken all of my pain meds and it's not really helped at the moment. So I am dredging through and I've got some, uh, so I've got some Charis, which is, you'll, you'll like this. 
Well, I don't think you'll like this, but I, I think it's very clever. So basically, this terrace is CBD hash, basically. Mm -hmm. So you heat it up and crumble it, a bit like you do with the old street hash. Good Back in the day. Back in, yeah, like, fuck me in the good old days. Like, when I was a kid, like, I didn't see fucking hash for years. God, like, over a decade now, actually. It's been since I've fucking seen hash. But, yeah, so, basically, um, these are the crystals from my grinder of CBD that Shara and I have put together. Sorry, my hands are a bit wobbly. But, basically, we're just going to put all of that into a smoke. So, hopefully, Shara, who is in absolute agony and just wants to rock quietly in a darkened yep. corner... Not feeling too good, so we're going to try a bit of natural pain relief because pharmaceutical pain relief is not doing the not trick. doing the job. No, so. not only not doing the trick, but it also makes you itch. And, uh, so we, I find with uh, Aramorph and with Oxymor, yeah, it makes you itch. Uh, so you yeah, end about up ten, fifteen minutes after you've taken it. Yeah, your nose. Oh, it's, your nose is the worst it's bit, right? Nose, and then oh, it's, it's your like face, it's yeah. and then it's the back of your neck, mm -hmm. and then it's your legs. Yeah, it's crawl it's almost like mm -hmm. crawling and then yeah. itching, isn't it? You feel like something's on you, and you go like, Argh. but it's like you can't actually reach your itch uh -huh. so you can't yeah yeah so it's, it's a bit like when i used to have an itch on my um drop foot <laughs> when it when i couldn't feel it properly because yeah. you can you can't you can't itch itch. it yeah you, you get the itch and you just got to kind of and go you, into you the just got to yeah. scratch until you bleed so yeah unfortunately Basically. i've done that on my other leg where i've, I've scratched a hole in it. i didn't realize i was doing it and also i find like i get sores a lot on my face because when i'm sore and i'm tired i'll rub that face i'll rub my face a lot and yeah, you do. and because i've got eds my skin's really delicate fucking when also, so, in other words, what that basically means is I can be a grown ass adult but still hurt myself by grazing my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> but we've also got some uh, CBD drops that we have been using recently because I find they're actually very helpful. Sorry, you're probably trying to focus on that and it's not going. What's a jelly? Um, yeah, so it's jelly candy because I found that a lot of the. Um, a lot of the carrier oils that they use, um, a lot of people use like sunflower oil and things like that. Oh, yeah. And I, I find with my gag reflex with my meds that yeah, the oily, oily ones aren't too good. The coconut no, oil is not I too wait. bad, but yeah, it's the flavour with the uh, um, sunflower and stuff. So what I've, oh, oh, I've just got, I've just got crystals all over my boob. Okay. Look at that! Look, it's the ultimate porn. You've got crystals rubbed off a of off a of boob. Oh, God, there, there has to be a market in that somewhere. I was busy concentrating. Where is he not ever filming? He's yeah, always okay. filming. Touché, back. I'll give you that one. Touche. So yeah, we're we're um, we're going through our box. Plus also because we're very sore, it gives us something to focus on. Uh -huh. So because I'm very sore, I can focus on this, and then I, it just makes me forget that I'm actually really sore. Mm -hmm. In theory, anyway. I that tried it. It didn't work. Yeah, so I've tried to do it now, so you can just zone out instead. Cool, well, we'll leave you to uh, get on with it before you knock the box everywhere. What lack of faith you have in me, darling. <laughs>